Let's take a look at a stock here that moved from the highs here of about 127, 128 before having a massive plunge where we see prices trading now at about 82. So a huge drop over the last couple of months. So some of the things that we can look for when there is a topping process is generally speaking, you're going to see that the stock or a stock or an instrument, a crypto, a forex pair, a market, any trading instrument where it tries to break out and fails. It is the failed breakout that tends to be a warning that we are running out of energy. As you can see here, considering the previous weekly closing high, we try to break out again, but we are unsuccessful. And of course, since then, we see the slide in the stock as traders get out of that position, having realized that there was not enough energy to continue moving the instrument higher. So that's one aspect. Another aspect we see is that before we get a massive plunge, there tends to be this type of reaction where you have a crossover and a bearish crossover at that, where you have the 13-week moving average crossing below the 34-week moving average. That also tends to be by itself and onto itself some form of a red flag and a reason to be cautious. Here we can see a crossover around the 110, 112 price level before we get this massive plunge over the last month or so. Now let's take a look at the Wilshire 5000 Composite Index. And again, we see here on the weekly at the highs for the year, we had a breakout attempt that was successful for one week. And then we rolled over. In other words, it became a failed breakout pretty much within a week or two. After this series of failed breakout here, you can see the reaction as traders got out of that position, having realized that the stock has run out of juice. So failed breakouts are one of the reasons we can always attribute or always be on the lookout for failed breakouts because they do identify areas of stalling now what is developing here looks like also another reason for caution that might be good for the next couple of weeks months in the future because now we have another crossover this time a bearish crossover as the 13 week moving average undercuts the 34 week moving average and this also by itself can be a reason for caution suggesting the probability is high that over time and in time, in the coming months, the trend generally continues to be lower. Keep in mind the last crossover between the 13-week moving average and the 34-week moving average was a bullish crossover. And of course, after that crossover, we had a massive run-up in world markets. And now, as long as this crossover remains in place, we might be now entering a phase where the next major trend will point to the downside. Eric Mwad with Mwadi.com. As always, good luck. Peace and blessings. E, a C, S, and so it is.